Welcome back to Disappointment Ranch. Today, we'll be showing you how we modified our F-550's back seats. Let's get started. Oh, I just realized I have to take off this other seat as well. Maybe I can slide it out from underneath? Dang it. Well, that sucks. All right. So it turns out I need to take this seat, the brackets off as well, because the brackets are not such that I can slide one from underneath the other. You have a seatbelt attachment problem over here. So the seatbelt is still attached, so that still needs to come off right there. And now everything's out. So now I just need to put that seat back together and bring this seat in and hopefully they can delete that middle portion and we can have the pass through. Okay, so we decided that we wanted to take this seat out as well because then we can bring it in to the place where we're having delete the seat and they can just copy and paste it over onto that side. This time I'm remembering to take the seat belt off right away. Hey, look at that. I'm doing something on the project for a change. I worked on safely securing the seats after they had come back from being modified. First, I bolted down both seats, which was a bit of an endeavor as it was hard to find a tool that would fit into the small space at the bases of the seats. Oh my gosh. Huh. I got it eventually, though. Then I reattached the seat belts, except for the one on the driver's side, because we somehow lost the nut I needed, so we'll need to order a new one. Put all of your hardware somewhere in a container because it's really easy for a bolt or a driver to roll down in a crack. I then realized that the seat belt on the driver's side didn't latch into the buckle that was attached to that seat. This got shifted over. It, it doesn't stay in. So I set about finding a way to replace it with the buckle that was left over from the modifications. We had a little part here where the metal went up and curved like that, that this was sitting on, but we cut that off so that we can hopefully stick this guy under the seat bracket here and then have a secure place to attach the seat belt. So yeah. So yeah, just have to take the entire seat off again. Whoa. So now we just need the bolt for there. So next step here is trying to take this guy off so we don't have, you know, two seatbelt clips. We'll see if we can secure this one somehow to this metal bar. If we can get this part off so that it's nice and handy to tuck back and forth in there. So we got the buckle that was on here. I just kind of messed around with a flathead screwdriver until I pried it all off. And then we are going to stick this back where it was in there. And we're going to secure that right there just to keep it kind of nice and in place so that it doesn't plop around all over the place. So I need to wipe down the surfaces with isopropyl alcohol before we stick the VHB tape on there. Just to make sure there's a nice good bond. Good. Nice. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. See you in the next one.